Still to arrive, it looks like. Some of the people that haven't picked up their badges. No. Yes. Oh. Oh. I can't shake hands. I'm holding on to my device. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Very sensible. We'll see you later on. Yeah. His flight was cancelled yesterday, and he had to fly to shooting yeah yeah this can't, is can't get away from it can you <laughs> there's a clay pigeon yeah because i saw a car park for it well this is my first visit here i've done most of the john Eyre sightseeing have things yeah. in the family but i've never been here Just maneuvering our way through the cemetery over to the grave, the tomb that contains the bodies of Sir John Aird, first baronet, and his wife. The year of death, I think, was about 1911, if I'm not mistaken. That's all right. That's no, all right. no, I'll I'm, go down. I'll I'll just go to the front. Thank you very much. There is no sound system outside, and we are competing with traffic and shooting. So please do gather as close as you need to, and the prayers are printed in the order of service, which may help you to follow. Father in heaven, we praise your name for all who have finished this life loving and trusting you, for the example of their lives, the life and grace you gave them, 
and the peace in which they rest. We praise you today for your servant, the first Sir John Eyre, and for all that you did through him. As we honour his memory here, fill our hearts with praise and thanksgiving for the sake of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord of all, we praise you for all who have entered into their rest and reached the promised land where you are seen face to face. Give us grace to follow in their footsteps as they followed in the way of your Son. Thank you for the memory of those you have called to yourself. By each memory, turn our hearts from things seen to things unseen and lead us till we come to the eternal rest you have prepared for your people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the eternal God bless and keep you. Guard your bodies, save your souls and bring you safe to the heavenly country, our eternal home, where Father, Son, and Holy Spirit reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Wish you all a very happy celebration. Thank you. Thank you. This is Aslan Granite. It's a lovely day today for such a great <laughs> gathering of aired relatives. They're not all aired, but they are associated with aired in some fashion. One or two people came over from America. And one gentleman came over from Hong Kong. I came over from Innsbruck. Just about. James, do you mind if I put you on camera? Is there anything you need us to do? And you. I bet he enjoys it, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, I've got Martin here. So, I think that's some nice colours over there. Oh, but could you press the button? Which one? The red one. Bye bye, folks. Here we are on the bus, the magical mystery tour. Scroll up, step this way. Here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we've, we've just been uh, attending the John the First Baronet Memorial Service here in Dropmore near Beaconsfield. Now we're heading back to the Cotswolds. Is it the Cotswolds? Beaconsfield. Beaconsfield. No, where, where are we heading back? To the Cotswolds, yeah. yeah. Even low, even low. Mm. I'll just, I'll only use a little bit of it. I'll do a bit of editing. It was terribly fond of Bill. We are on a gorgeously hot day, attending the honouring our ancestors occasion here in Morton on the Marsh. In fact, in Evenrode, a lovely little farming village. This is our, this is my cousin Erica. Here. Erica, born in Innsbruck. Her husband Jack, he's already 92. Erica's 52. And. Uh, <laughs> And Martin and Anita, the two children, and Sue. Sue, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was your name, sir? <laughs> and Mark, and my brother and sister.
Susie. Yes. What I thought would be really interesting, since a lot of us, and the majority of us, don't know who each other were until we looked at the names, is if I just got people to stand up who came from different branches of the family. So if I start off, I know that there are lots of um, our grand great grandfather's elder brother was Charles Ed. And Charles Ed and John Ed owned the business together. And then unfortunately, Charles Ed had a stroke, which meant he couldn't continue and handed it over to John Ed. So will anybody who's related to Charles Ed please stand up? <laughs> Achievements of the John Ed and Sons engineering industrial years, you could say. The building of the Aswan Dam, how about that? Everybody gets the mug. Built by John Ed and Co. Something that we're really proud of, and um, who knows what may come in the future. 